Hello, what's up everybody? This is Tonton here and welcome back to another Tonton talk show. And today I have a quite a bit of news considering some very famous third party brand in China. We have Black Apple and Weijiang. So as you all know, last week there was this press conference about the Black Apple and Weijiang case. Considering that they have violated copyright from Takara and Hasbro, and from that they will be ceased for exist, and that is a really sad news considering the quality of their third parties. With the most famous example of the Black Apple Weijiang Optimus, but then we also have some good news because apparently they didn't die yet. And about that, I will gonna show you this paragraph here. I got this on Transfan, so some of you might have seen this already. But then apparently the render and model of the NPM Optimus of Black Apple still exists and currently occupied by TF Dream Factory. So also confirming that M09 and Black Apple NPM4 stock is ready, waiting for release soon with plain packaging box. And of course, we still have some news for the upcoming Iron High as well. So this is. TF Dream Factory is gonna continuing the Black Apple slash Weijiang production, and they're gonna release Iron High in the near future, and that is pretty exciting. Next up, we have an updating DNA design. As you all know, DNA is a very famous brand for the add-ons of Transformer. So they have just did a status yesterday that I'm gonna quote: "Hello fans, thanks for your support for DNA design. Our recent products are delayed due to COVID-19. We will try to make all products on schedule as soon as possible." Thanks again for all your patience. DK15 estimate release in August 2020. Thanks. So apparently that they got affected as well, which is pretty sad. I hope that they're gonna come back at some times. And then of course we still have the upcoming Transformer Robo Cybertron Siege, which is gonna be released tomorrow. So my plan is to do a full review of the Chapter One Siege as soon as possible. As soon as I'm finished watching it. So I hope that I'm gonna get that video up on Friday. But of course, there will be some spoiler. Alert. Next up, we have some upcoming rumors of the Kingdom Wave One figures. So that is this is quite interesting because we have three new figures on three in other new scale, which is Core. So we have Core Bind Marks, Core Rat Trap, and Core Optimus. So this is quite interesting because what is a Core? To be honest, uh, I cannot imagine how Core Optimus and Core Bite Marks would be. But then we have Ratchet, which is a really small figure. So I guess the Core might be a figure that has the size of a Deluxe. I'm not too sure, but we have to wait on that. Then of course we have Deluxe Chom, Dom, Deluxe Cheetor, Deluxe Stretch, and Deluxe Irazor. Nothing too excited. But then we have a Voyager Optimus Primal and Voyager G1 Inferno. Of course, we have Leader Beast Megatron and Leader Mutant Rodimus. The Mutant Rodimus is quite interesting. I haven't heard of anything like that. But upon this, we can agree that a figure that I was really expecting, which is Dinobot, could be released at a leader scale. Because we have Leader Beast Megatron here and Dinobot is also big. And I think he's on similar size to Megatron. I will have my uh, Masterpiece check on the scale. Because Primal is... Roger. So I think that could be it for today's. Thanks for catching up with me and I'll see you guys on the next review. Tonton out.